Welcome back to the program. It's Capital Market Live on Channels Television. Let's remind you that you can link up with us on social media platforms, including Twitter at Channels TV and at CTV Temple, just in case you want to join the conversation. You may also look up, up on YouTube, uh, forward slash YouTube, actually, forward slash Channels uh, TV. Now, uh, we have been having discussions on issues in the uh, Nigerian capital markets. Our focus earlier was on Owando. Now we're shifting gears to Diamond Bank, uh, uh, which is a listed lender as well in the Nigerian capital market. But a few days after releasing its nine months 2017 earnings, Nigerian multinational lender Diamond Bank on Friday announced plans to sell its subsidiaries in Benin. Togo, Cote d'Ivoire, and Senegal. And this is to enable the lender focus on retail banking in Africa's biggest economy. This follows the completion of a share sale and purchase agreement uh, uh, to a Cote d'Ivoire-based financial services holding uh, company, which is Manzi Finances uh, SA, in August of this year. Now, still with us here in the studio to give us his insight into the impact of this developing story is the Chief Executive of Afroinvest Securities, Ayodeji Ebo. Thanks a great deal for still standing by. Quickly, before we wrap up the show, let's look at um, the fact that this company, this bank, actually released its earnings. Uh, I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday, yeah, midweek, uh, basically. Mid and yeah. a, a few days after this report came, that's Diamond Bank is selling off all of its shares. I recall once in Cote d'Ivoire, uh, I saw the big bank there, Diamond Bank. And now if you go back to Cote d'Ivoire, it means we're not going to see Diamond Bank again. Why are they selling? Why do you think they're selling? I think if you, you look at um, Diamond Bank capital adequacy ratio, we've been very close to the statutory or the regulatory requirement, which is 16% um, because they're one of the systemically important banks. And you see... Part of what the strategy the bank is trying to also adopt now is that most of some of these, um, these branches outside the country, some of them are not as profitable. So you saw there was time we saw the race for most of the banks to set up international banks. Hmm. But what you discover that for most of these, when you, when you, when you do the, when you do a comparison, you still discover that the return on capital yeah. invested in, um, in Nigeria compared to some of these countries, are not as attractive. So when you, if you want to, when you discover that you have a major part of your business that is doing fine, mm. why don't you create capital? Why don't you divest and, re, and, and um, allow other people can run, depending on their own business model, to run in all those francophone countries that you feel that you're making, um, you wanted to, as a result of, maybe some of your initial business idea. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's positive for the company. It's going to inject more capital that will be used for Nigerian business. When you look at uh, Diamond Bank's model, hmm. they are very strong yeah, retail Italian. lending. Yeah. And it's like they've, they've begun to master, they have uh, master the the heart of uh, lending to the retail space because it can be very risky mm. and you discover as a result the employment charges on a year-on-year -year basis have been growing but maybe because of some development we've seen within the i and e window this year businesses have also improved in terms of turnover and in terms of servicing the loan that has also dovetailing to the improvement we've seen in the nine months result mm -hmm. so for diamond looking at within the short to medium term it's positive it's going to strengthen the tier one capital mm -hmm. and will also give him more opportunity to take other business decisions so basel 2 is coming basel 3 is coming uh, could this also be part of the strategies you know as to gearing up for this this recapitalization Yet it's, um, it may also be part of it, uh, but also the better you're able to show up your capital, the better you're able to withstand any shock within the economy. Mm. Now, how does this really impact on the business? Is it really, you said it's positive. So does it translate to more money for Diamond Bank in Nigeria? Because this is a bank that actually has issues with some, uh, you know, it has a serious NPL ratio. I recall RT Brisco is one of the companies that is owing that bank large sum of money. So is this going to add more money into the vault of Diamond Bank? Yes, it's going to inject more capital and long-term capital. So based on what I said earlier, when you do the analysis, return on capital in Nigeria still looks more profitable compared to those countries. So if you know you're not making a lot in those countries, why don't you divest? 
-hmm. take the cash and, in, and inject it or direct it to areas where you know will yield you higher return on capital. What are the opportunities for retail banking in Nigeria as, as we speak? Because that's the crux of this discussion or of this decision by the bank. Yes, I think um, the uh, Diamond Bank have been very strong using technology, which we know it's the next next peer, the next big thing that would boom technology. And they've been very strong. We have their yellow savings account. Yeah. So it's for them to continue to enhance and use the technology platform to drive retail savings. They also need to identify what customers need, what will make them sign up to that platform, what other value they can, can they add. So beyond bring your money, save, save, um, come and save, save up in, in the account. Mm. What other value can they do retail um, lending using also the platform, technology platform to drive, to drive their retail lending? How can they do their credit rating calculation such that they are able to reduce their MPL as they progress? So mm. if you know that there are some serial lend, lenders that will not, uh, debtors that will not pay back, but you are able to do your credit analysis properly, and you're able to also identify some sectors that you feel within the retail space that you are very strong, you understand the business, you understand the cash flow of that business, then it would also help um, Diamond Bank to reduce its non-performing loans. Hmm. Your company released the Nigerian Banking Report recently. You exported it to London. You brought it back to Nigeria. Investors, foreign and domestic, were able to have access to it. Diamond Bank had a place in that report. Let's relate your reports with this development in Diamond Bank and take a look at the outlook for that company going forward in Q4 and 2018. Yes, um, when you, the reports in terms of the rating, also Diamond Bank, it's a, it's a buy. Um, based on the target price uh, and based on the outlook, the strategy of the company, um, though may not be privy to this divestment as at the time of the report, but we all know that uh, retail lending, lending to the small and medium scale enterprise work and grow the economy. Mm -hmm. And we know as, as they progress, um, all the teaching problems, um, learning curve, it would improve. And that is part of the a result that we've begun to see in their nine months um, results. So um, <laughs> this same bank is actually offering salary for life to a lot of Nigerians. It's been supporting on uh, on enterprises, uh, boarding entrepreneurs and all of that. All of these developments, you see that helping them to actually weather the storm and you know, keeping head above water is going forward. Yes, yes, mean. but they also, like I mentioned earlier, that you have to also understand the business, mm -hmm. understand even if you are lending to salary and understand the business of that company so that you see whether it's sustainable. Um, you saw what happened um, when government, a lot of states were hoeing in the past, and if you are very strong in lending to state government workers, it means that you, ha you ac accumulate a lot of MPL during the period when salaries were unpaid for hmm. months. Thank you very much, Chief Executive at Afri Invest Securities, Ayodeji Ebo. So much appreciate your time on the program. Thanks for having Thanks. me. Ayodeji is the Chief Executive at Afri Invest Securities. Let's hope the Diamond Bank is able to continue to sustain its salary for life initiative for its customers with this development. Well, next week we'll see the Capital Markets Committee meeting holding again in Lagos. And coming as well with that is the uh, Chartered Institute of Stockbrokers Conference. These are some of the events you might want to watch out for next week. Thank you so much for being a part of the program this evening. We so appreciate it. I'm Temple Ashadu. I'll see you again next time.